As we entered Spain, we were back as a three. And soon, we reached Barcelona, a city known for many things. Its cathedral, its cafes, and its interesting architecture. But actually, the most impressive thing here is this. It's called the Terramar, and it's the oldest surviving banked track in Europe. It opened in 1923, staged one big race, and due to some unpaid bills, closed a day later. For the last 50 years, it's been a chicken farm. OK, congratulations, James. This is the steepest bank circuit I've ever, ever seen. Mm. And I'm not even at the steep bit of it yet. 78 degrees at the top, apparently. Ah. What's your plan, May? Well, what I thought we'd do is put a speed trap at the end of this curve, where it goes level again, and whoever achieves the highest speed through this banking is the winner. Right. Um, can we have a bit of practice first? Could I make a couple of modifications to my Aston? Not if it's swapping it for a DB11. <laughs> I, can't, I literally can't get any higher than this. And we've got to drive up there. We do, don't we, to go fastest? If you go off the edge... Yeah? ..it's oblivion. No, because the tree will stop us, won't it? No. Before we embarked on our practice laps, I set about my important modifications. What are you doing? I'm giving my car air conditioning. You're drilling holes in a one and a half million pound car. I couldn't do that. That's, that's the difference between you and me. I'm practical. No, that's vandalism. It's not vandalism! It's got a hole in it. But now I'll be able to breathe and see where I'm going, which is important when the track is at that angle. That's like saying Westminster Abbey's in the way, I'll knock it down so I get a better view. It's still vandalism. You don't like old things, so why wouldn't you knock Westminster Abbey down? I like ha! Westminster Abbey. Hoist by his own petard. Another one here. With the aircon sorted, it was time to start practising on what over the years has become a bumpy, pothole death trap. Sixty miles an hour as I approach. Whoa, big pothole there. The first corner. Already, I can tell it's very bumpy. Whoa, steering's gone very weird. Finally, the practice laps were over. Oh, Christ, this oh, is scary. The problem with going around a bank turn is there's nothing you can do. You can't slow down, you can't speed up. If anything goes wrong, you're a passenger. And because he was aware of that too, Squeaky Boy decided he didn't want to play anymore. Yeah, well, my practice laps have told me one thing. I don't want to do it. I've just gone right off huge motoring accidents at the moment. Right off them. Having decided he didn't want to buy the farm, he went off to buy a farmhouse instead. So it became a two-car shootout, and Asbo Man was the first to go. Concentrate, mate, concentrate. Give him some beanage. The wind three wipers come on. Jeez. That is not a pleasant sensation, I promise you.
It's one of the scariest things I've ever done in a car. Ever. Well done. Well done. Well done. I've got to say, um... We weren't joking there. He really did go and buy a farmhouse in <laughs> southwest France. And actually, James and I wish we'd gone with him because that was hideously terrifying. This is awful. It really was. Anyway, I have the numbers from the speed trap here. Mm -hmm. And, Jeremy Clarkson, yeah. you passed it at 89 miles an hour. Well done. That is brave. <laughs> that is brave. brave. Is it really 89? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, James May, you, you passed it at 93 miles an hour. Oh. James May has won a thing. Yes. And what you proved is, by being so speedy, that modern cars are four miles an hour faster than they were 60 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, though, you can't actually drive your cars on the road. Can well, you? no, the Aston, I have to admit, at slow speed is very difficult. I mean, if you try and tickle it into gear, it just won't have it. The only language it understands is violence. You ram it in and then you're fine. That's not what I was talking about. You're not actually allowed to drive your cars on the road, are you? I did, because Aston registered that one as a prototype, so I could. Yeah, it was a bit more complicated in the Jag, because it was registered as a test car. Mm -hmm. So technically only a Jaguar employee can drive it. So how did you? I had to get a job with Jaguar. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, I, I, I now work for Jaguar, I did. But as my job is now done, Jaguar, I'm afraid I'll resign. <laughs> How will the news go down in, the, in Wall Street? It'll, it'll affect about. the share price. The it news will be Hammond Rock City with shock jag move. That could be the headline, or it could be Hamster Screws Big Cat. That would do it. <laughs> I would cover it. Look, here is the, tr here is the truth of it. Yeah. If you went out and bought one of those cars, you wouldn't legally be allowed to drive it on the road, would you? <coughs> you wouldn't. So you've actually wasted everybody's time, haven't you? <laughs> a bit, yeah. Yeah, a bit. And on that terrible disappointment, it is time to end. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>